All right, welcome to day eight of Slave One 2024 project. We have a update as far as a failure that happened a couple of days ago, and I thought that I would go and cover what happened and how I am resolving it today. So last night we printed the back portion of the uh, cockpit assembly. So this goes on the rear part of the ship. This is part of the engine assembly. And then this is the front of the cockpit, which we printed three days ago. And uh, it goes on the front like that. And then we have the actual cockpit part goes in here. It's not going to fit perfectly because it's not sanded. And then this goes on the front. All right. So this is what we're going to focus on. All of the pieces for the cockpit and the chairs, which is this, and some beams and the front part that goes in here. These are all printed on the same plate. And I made a mistake by printing this at 0.3 millimeter layer height. The big pieces turned out fine. Even the detail in here is, is decent. I mean, I'm not complaining about that. However, when it comes to the small stuff, it's far too thick, or yeah, thick of a layer to get any kind of detail and support from it. So what happened is, well, for the beams, for example, it printed it this way, which means all the support material is on here. And because it's so thin, it's essentially fused itself to it. And the angle pieces here on the, on the beam are so thin, it's basically one or two perimeters, and it's just a single line, right? And it's so thin that even if I remove this, it's going to be too thin to do anything with. and it's Kind of separating. Well, the other one was worse, uh, but they're all going in the garbage. Uh, so what I did is for this one, I have flipped it vertically, put the other one so it's the mirror because there's two of these, and merged them in Prusa, and it's treating it like a single model. So all the support material is it's a single model now, and I'm hoping that by printing it vertically, all these vertical pieces are going to be printed in circles and stuff now, right? So I'm hoping that at point 0.7, that gives it much more stability and clarity, especially for all these little thin pieces. I'm hoping that it, it works out better. Um, so that one goes in the garbage. The chairs, same idea. So the back of the chair it actually has a circle headrest, which you can see it broke off. Um, when I cut the supports off the edge because I didn't want to flex it, it basically just fell over. Um, the layers for the back of the headrest where it joins to it, were just not strong enough and it just kind of folded over on itself. So um, same idea, print it vertically and we will print it at point seven and see what it looks like. This piece for the front command center, uh, the dome part, which I don't know if that's going to show up on camera, but it, you can see light through it. So it's very, very thin. It's a single layer. And I think printing it at a lower height is going to make this stronger or at least better to sand because if I try to sand this, I'll probably go straight through the plastic and yeah, they'll just have a big hole. So, um, this piece is going to be 0 0.07 as well, which is what's being printed right now. So that is the actual status of the things that have been printed and failed and all the little things that are going to be printed, especially for the engine stuff. Is all going to be 0 0.07, so it is going to add some time, quite a bit of time actually, onto the printing. But I think I'll get a better result with less uh, chances for failure in the future. Um, anything big, like I have to print the other side of this piece, uh, I can only print at one at a time anyway, so this is going to be at 0 0.3 as well. And I'm happy with that, I can deal with the sanding and filling, etc. Update on the spool holder. It's, I've gone through as of what, by the time this is done, it will have gone just over two kilograms of, of uh, PLA. And that is starting to get lighter. And what happened is the weight is no longer has enough friction on the uh, filing cabinet it's sitting on. And after about two hours, it started to slide. And so it was kind of on an angle. So I straightened it, used some painter's tape, just stuck it on the front. And it hasn't moved. It printed all night last night and had no problems. So, um, that is the update on the spool holder. Once we get, so like this is the bottom half of the hull shield for the uh, uh, engine assembly goes here. And then you have the bottom section of the actual hull. So this stuff goes on top 
and once we get the cockpit assembly is going to be kind of separate as much as I can, but I'm hoping that I can do the upper part of the shield assembly and get that done. Um, and then we're going to do uh, the first step is going to be we're going to take the separate these two halves. We're going to deal with this, do the door, which is this piece here. We have to fix this to it somehow. Um, it has a hinge on it, but it doesn't work. So I'm not going to worry about it right now. But once we get the main hull done and assembled, dry and fitted so that there's no gaps, um, then we're going to glue it. And I have some PLA uh, 3D glue coming, and that is going to be uh, probably a lifesaver. Um, and yeah, so first step, we dry fit everything, make sure it all fits properly, and then we will uh, glue the sections together. And then we're going to do the same with the rear assembly for the engine bay and uh, get all of this together so it's not flopping around. And then once that's done, we have to work on the upper part. And before I glue these two halves together, I want to make sure that I can put the top two assemblies together and just snap it down on top. If I can, then I will do it that way. The other question I have is regarding the um, the actual cockpit assembly itself. So my concern is that if I get this to go in, I have to make it so that this piece can slide in. Now, it's not going to slide because it's really, really dirty and needs to be clean. But it's going to go in like that. But I need to be able to drop it in, then put the other stuff on top. So I'm going to have to get the actual seats and everything that's in this section done before I can assemble the second tier of the top part um, so that I can have this and have it just all in one piece. Um, so that's going to be a little tricky. Once we get the other half done, so like the rear section that goes of this one that goes behind it, I'll have a better idea of how... I'm gonna have I'm gonna have to like proceed with assembly. Um, I was following the guides. Uh, it's pretty simple. Um, some of the little things, yeah, I'm gonna look it up. Like like how exactly does this go in? Does it go in here? I think it just sits on top like this because it lines up really well here. Um, but yeah, stuff like that we will we will deal with once the 3D gloop is here. We'll really start like fusing stuff together and making sure that it all fits. So. Yeah, that's it for day eight. Uh, if you want to check out the live streams, I don't do the 3D printing and clean up and stuff uh, as YouTube videos. I just usually do a live stream. So go check out my Twitch channel if you want to uh, catch up on that and catch me when I am streaming. Uh, just twitch.tv slash Cardell. And um, yeah, we'll see you guys later.